All right, this is 14, 15, so 1415 Illinois Avenue on Palm Harbor. And there's only one vent stack, and we are through it. It appears that I am in uh, clay pipe terracotta, so I would assume that's our city tap. And you can see right here where the PVC connects to the clay. You can see where that clay is and where the PVC is. That whole line is just completely full of roots. There's our PVC and there's our our junction to where it turns to uh, to clay. So we were able to poke a hole in it and get everything flowing and the rest of this is all PVC. So this whole line itself was just filling up all the way back to the house. So the good news is, is that the sewer at some point has been replaced. But right at the connection between the clay and the PVC is where the, there's a breach in the line. And that's what's clogging everything up. I'll just record the rest of the sewer. So the sewer actually exits the back of the house and then wraps around to the right side of the house and runs out to the front of the house. That's why it's so long. See, we're still in PVC. It's not holding any water. Looks good. There's 145. And there's another 45. And that's how it wraps the house. And then when it pops out of the house, there's a 90 degree bend that comes through and then we'll turn to cast iron. So there's our clean out, which we located is under the tile. And there's our 90. And then this is our cast iron line, which is under the house. And now we're coming up the, uh, the stack and up onto the roof. So everything looks really good, except the one spot where it changes from PVC to clay. And that's in the front yard. If you're looking at the house on the right hand side of the property next to the fence, and we put two flags in the ground and spray painted the area with uh, blue spray paint. It's about three and a half feet deep in that section. Thanks for watching.